Who is Little Cheeto? I'm out of here. Okay, well, I'm sorry. That's how you feel, sir. I'm gonna get my chicken nuggets at Burger King. What is up, my beautiful momars, and welcome back to my office. Make sure you hit that notification bell icon right now before we start this video. But let's get right to it, okay, momars? I decided I wanted to build a giant McDonald's box fort with a drive through everything, the whole shebang. This is inspired by Papa Jake, the sharers, all the box people out there. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of planning. It's a lot of taping. It's a lot of everything. Let's just go through it right now with each other. I want to show you how I made this. So this McDonald's box where I imagined it to be like massive. I wanted it to be like a real side McDonald's in my studio. So I was like, I want this for myself. You know, who didn't grow up and want like their own McDonald's in their house? I definitely wanted my own McDonald's. So that is exactly exactly what I did today. I got some boxes and me and my friends built this thing, okay? So me, I started out, I was like, what do I want to do with the structure? Like, I just knew it. I wanted it to be big. Okay, I got an idea. What if we cut the boxes in half like this? We open them up. That could be like the walls. And then we had another problem. After we opened up the walls, we we're like, wait a second. How do we make them stand? Duct tape to the rescue. Whenever you're building stuff with box forts, all you need is duct tape. Duct tape is the best thing ever. You can buy it at the dollar store. You can buy it at Walmart. Your pop-up probably has some right now. You can just be like, yo, dad, can I get some duct tape? He's like, I got you, son. So I took the duct tape and I took these boxes that I cut in half like this. We put them on top of each other like that. We taped them, bam, right down the middle, just like that. Uh-huh. Looks beautiful, right? I'm gonna build something to support these things. So we made these like pillars that went up. Ah, oh, pillars. Like I wanted to actually like, cut stuff. So that's why we have the walls and we have the pillars. After that, I was like, hmm. It looks a little plain. We should paint it. So then we started painting it. I started painting it red. My friends are all painting it red. We're painting it red. Whoop. This is actually like my first time painting something with a roller thing. So I was very inexperienced in that. Not gonna lie, I suck at painting. Do not hire me to paint your walls. This is a lot of work. I'm telling you, you watch Papa Jake's videos, you watch anybody's videos. And you're like, this is easy. I can do that. And then you try to do it. It's hard. This video in total took me two whole days to do. I had a lot of fun doing it. I don't think it's just red walls in McDonald's. I think they have like brick sometimes so I was like okay let's take this tape and we're gonna make it into bricks so we're gonna be taping the walls taping this taping that taping this taping that and that's all taped and now we got like bricks down like oh my gosh it's so beautiful we got bricks and stuff the inside still is sponsored by Home Depot and this video is totally not sponsored by Home Depot so I was like we gotta paint the inside too so I got the white paint I got the rolly thing again this thing is very rolly I'm like oh my gosh okay let's paint let's paint let's paint let's paint let's paint let's paint we're painting and painting is very difficult guys if you don't coat the brush in the proper way and you're trying to paint it's not gonna be even and I had to learn that the hard way and I was like wow this is really hard and I'm like okay so everything's painted it's all beautiful it smells delicious I like the smell paint I know it's that kind of weird I haven't put stuff on the inside yet so now this is the part where we fill up the inside Woo! I fill up the inside of this thing, you know, I got a refrigerator, I need an area to make grill, you know, grill the burgers, I need a frying station. So I'm like, okay, we gotta do all this right now, we gotta put it all in there and make it look beautiful so I can attract the customers. I made this McDonald's sign, it's a big M like this, I don't think I even shot any footage of it, but it's really simple, I just took the cardboard, like, you know, the box that get cut in half, drew an ugly M like this, painted it yellow, bam, McDonald's on the roof, boom, boom, boom. Oh, this is also a part where we're cutting the middle of it open so we can have, like, these little drive through doors, these little baby windows. Those are like my favorite touch to it because I wanted this to be able to have a drive-through. Next part right here, you see my friend Blake. She's cutting the front door open. It's like, shh. So this is like the front door for the workers. I actually don't have a front door on the inside of it. So it's like a drive-through only McDonald's, kind of like a drive-through only Starbucks. But then, you know, it's just more efficient that way. This is like the most efficient McDonald's ever. Right now, I'm really excited about it because like this is my dream. This is the coolest thing ever. I have a McDonald's in my office. Now it's time to talk to some customers. It's time to open up shop. It's time to make my McDonald's dream inside my studio come true. Let's do this, my much. This is where I open my McDonald's up. And this is what I feel like it'd be like if I actually opened it up somewhere outside and I was like, hey, Hey guys, like I feel like this is the kind of customers I'd run into for people that are coming into my studio. So yeah, this is what I think it would look like, just like this. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get you? Hey man, um, uh huh. I was just wondering if I could have like a ten-piece chicken nugget and uh, some sweet and sour sauce. Okay. Yeah, thank you, man. Coming right up. Just a second. All right, that would be twelve ninety-nine. Uh. That's not a 10-piece chicken nugget. This is a 10-piece. You know what, man? I don't need you, okay? I don't, I'm just gonna go cry now. Take it, this is exactly what you want a 10-piece. I don't want your apple pie or your sweet and sour sauce. Yummy. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'm hungry. 
Excuse Hi! Welcome to- Oh, hi, little guy. I'm hungry and I was wondering if I could have, um, some, uh, Happy Meal. Oh, okay. You want a Happy Meal? Coming right up. I got you. Okay, just wait right here. Okay, yeah, take your time. Take your time. Don't get any vans with any strangers, okay. Uh, duh. Making food. Making so much food back here. Here's your Happy Meal. That's not a Happy Meal. You're not happy right now? This is a Happy Meal. Those are three french fries. You even work here, dude? This is a Happy Meal. Be happy. Smile. Here, take it. Ride it on your little pony. Take your little Happy Meal and go. That's it. I'm out of here. Mm. Where are you going? Hey, good. Do you want to get in this van? We got Happy Meals. Mm, french fries. I love you, french fries. Hey, yo, McDonald's. McDonald's, open up. Hello, and welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? I don't know if you know who I am, but I was just wondering if you know, if you can get, hook me up with 10 pieces of chicken McNuggets. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, but 10 chicken nuggets coming right up. Thank you, thank you. See, yeah, I'll see you later. I'm gonna make me some chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken nuggets. All right, here we are. 10 chicken nuggets right here for you, sir. Here you go. Oh, perfect. 10 chicken McNuggets. Thank you so much. That's actually gonna be $10. It just costs money. That's $10. You know who I am? My hit single, Chicken Nuggets Everywhere. I haven't heard of your song, I'm sorry. Are you sure you haven't heard of me on the radio, you know? I don't care who you are. Yeah, this is enough, right? This is how much you buy. Um, I'm sorry, that's not gonna be enough. You're gonna need about nine more dollars. Wow, chicken nuggets are way more expensive than I remember back in my day, ah. Uh, $10 or no chicken nuggets. This McDonald's is not even good enough for me. Little Cheeto. Who is Little Cheeto? I'm out of here. Okay, well, I'm sorry. That's how you feel, sir. I'm gonna go to Burger King. I'm gonna get my chicken nuggets at Burger King next time. No longer McDonald's. So sorry. You will have to talk to customer service and make better songs. I hate you. Um, I don't know how to really open this. Magic door. Mirror, mirror on the wall, thou shalt open. Abracadabra. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get you today? I am here at your fine establishment, and I was just wondering if you had any chickens or something that shall fill my belly. Anything I can eat. What I would highly recommend, I really like a McDouble. It has two slices of meat and one cheese in the middle and then another slice of meat and then two pickles and ketchup, mustard, and onions. Oh, yes, that sounds great. Uh, a McDouble. Yes, that I would love one of those, so... However long it takes. All right, I'll be right back. I'm making food. Wow, is this a McDouble? I have not seen such a beautiful sight. It smells magnificent. Oh, McDouble. This is what the legends, everyone here in America has been speaking of. McDouble. Oh, I've never seen these before. Oh. Delicious! Mother and I would make potato, but they're not shaped quite like this in beautiful, delicate little containers like that. I like it so much. They should call this McTreasure Chest. Are these special? Can you foresee into the future with these? Are you a wizard? Some people call me the fry wizard, but I, I mean, that's just sometimes. How did they get the apples in the packaging? That's amazing! You are a wizard! Or are you a warlock? Oh. A warlock? No. No, that's not me. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. You're gonna have to actually pay for that. You can't just eat it, that's stealing. You can't steal from McDonald's, we wouldn't like that. Oh, right, right, of course. I am an honorable gentleman. Yes, but it's okay, it's only $10. Oh, $10, yes, in your time, $10 is this much, right? I hope that's enough. Uh, I mean, uh, it doesn't look exactly $10, but uh, I'll take it, okay, bye. Thank you so much, Mr. Magical Wizard, and I'll see you later. I'm leaving this place! Screw this place! I'm leaving! I'm never working here again! You guys can make your own burgers, make your own french fries, make everything else you want. I'm leaving, I'm out of here! Woo! I'm a free man! Woo! Woo! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of DIY Box Fort McDonald's and the little skit I threw in there. I hope you guys had fun. I love McDonald's. This is not a sponsored video by any means necessary. I just wanted to see if I can make my own gigantic cardboard box fort McDonald's and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna do a ton more videos with this same concept where I make a cardboard box fort of something. Let me know what else I should do in the comments below. Leave it, write it, and I might just do it, Marmars, okay? And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. <gasps> Peace!